Cue music. I don't want gossip and talk. A cultural expression evolved by and for the youth of today. A little bit spicy, but not too raw, you know what I mean? A party that's fun for all. Do you see what's happening to the youth of today? Now, here it is, your moment of zen. Daily. Daily Nugget. You're listening to the Daily Nugget. It's dnugget.com. It is for Monday, April 18th. And this... I believe can be the defining daily nugget of our existence. If we can save one person from this disorder, uh, then I think we're doing something with the. We yes, yes. We are we'll doing, go I mean, ahead. We're doing I was going to finish your sentence, Mister Yusa. We have accomplished our purpose in life. We have. We seek to help yes. all of the mentally ill. You know, even there, some of them. there are perhaps <laughs> dozens of people that suffer from a disorder called Pika. Chew? Uh, no. I know that's what I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Pika Pika. Uh, anyway, uh, before we get to Pika, let's. Chew. I just said Topeka, like Kansas. Chew. <laughs> nice. Pika is the disorder Chew. we're talking about. <laughs> this is not going to go well, is it? Uh, <laughs> no. I'm Andy. Sam is not helping. Uh, Janelle is sometimes a little slow in the uptake. Oh, and what? Jen is a fan of comedy. And that's who makes the daily. <laughs> Listen, I think we need a rework here. I am not slow on the uptake. Just Sorry, you're you know. slow on the downstream. Well, downstream. I'm okay with my title. I do like comedy, so I'm going to stick with that. I like comedy, too, but I don't I'm like not- people that do what we're going to have to talk about. That's, no, that's either. just wrong. I think we need to leave out of this conversation. It's pretty bad. All right. A mother of five <laughs> has been diagnosed with a disorder called Pika. Okay, now I've heard, I didn't realize this is what it was called, but I don't, I've i heard of people craving weird things, like pregnant women craving yeah, why? dirt. Why? You, I've heard of that before. Dirt? That's, really? That's so wrong. Yeah. And Adil Edwards of Bradenton, Florida, which is kind of by Sarasota, uh, has been eating odd things for 21 years. Uh, no, 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 no. The foam no. inside couch cushions. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, it's disgusting. Oh, she's 31, yeah. so you do the math. She's been doing it since she was 10. That's so gross. In the last year, she's eaten seven oh. sofas. <laughs> How do they measure that? <laughs> and I have chills and I want to throw up. That's really, really disgusting. Well, you wouldn't know it by just by looking at the picture here. It looks like she just moved a couch cushion and found a Cheeto. <laughs> oh, my gosh. No. And, the, and how do you how do you like just wake up one day and say I'm hungry for foam? What? I don't get it. But there's a thing, isn't it? Just like she can't have she or she doesn't like new couches or new foam. Well, I don't know. It's one of those things where I think uh, you know couches she probably get better with age. Dancer. No, I thought in the in the article it mentioned how she likes aged foam. Yeah, she clothes. goes to she uh, thrift stores. People, a picture. Yes, clean. a picture of her is at. Um, Checking the foam from a sofa cushion at Bob's Bargain Barn in Bradenton. Yeah, howdy. You come on over. We got the best used couches. You can eat all the foam you can eat. Yeah. How does the store owner not stop them? I mean, like, or stop her. It's, it's, oh, it's not normal. Well, see, here's the problem. If you were the store owner and a lady just walks in, opens the couch cushion, and starts eating it. You call the police. What are, what are you going to say? Uh, ex- ex- uh, uh, excuse me, ma'am. Place. Can you yeah. stop eating that? <laughs> exactly. Couch yes, cushion. That. Oh my gosh! It's so Talk gross. about your awkward moment of the year. Well, you know, it's kind of sad because it all started when she was ten. Um, <sighs> it was a stress thing. Her parents sure it was. Uh, were were getting divorced, and she says, I, "My life is out of control." Okay, and you can blame her cousin for this. Her cousin decided to chew a piece of sofa for fun. <sighs> And so that she influence. said, you know what? I was 10 years old. I like the flavor. I like the way it felt in my mouth. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That is... Yeah. Nobody the likes the flavor of foam. A lame excuse. Yeah. <sighs> well, you, see, you can't say that nobody likes the flavor of foam because there's lots of foams <laughs> that people like. What are you talking about? Okay. Now, when I was a kid, when I was a small kid, I <laughs> ate dog food. I would hide, I would hide in, <laughs> That's in, ridiculous in the too. closet. And I would eat dog food, and my parents would have to... So as kids, for whatever reason, we don't necessarily understand what we're supposed to eat and what we're not supposed to eat, I think. Hey, but she's not a kid anymore. She doesn't have an excuse. Unless and she's like not kid eating kid. something that was food before. Yeah, it's and true. And she's a mother of five kids. What kind of a standard is she setting for her children? 
<laughs> a world of couch eaters. That's so I know. Bad. Okay, so here's my question. It's, this is like the when, level below homeschool. No, 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 no. Couch eater? I'm, I'm glad so it's not above eater. us. Man. I'm couch eater. Hold on, everybody. Sam, Sam is now. I, uh, Sam has now identified a species that's below homeschool. <laughs> wow! Thanks. In the food chain, it's homeschoolers and then couch eaters. I'm glad it's not above. I'll say that. I think Oops. our disabled correspondent wants to say something. <laughs> uh, yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Just go with it. <laughs> when does the CDC get involved? The health, public health department, uh, child services. What, how come they're not? Publishers Clearinghouse. <laughs> uh, Johnson and Johnson. Um, exactly. Uh, Everybody. Smith Home Furnishings. We need an army. We need, we need an army. Pull in the militia. We need some explosions. Come on. Uh, this is ridiculous. Oil of Olay. <laughs> is she? I want to know. Has she been on TLCs uh, that show "I'll Eat Anything" or whatever they call it because they have freak shows on there that will eat anything? I mean, seriously. That. Lifetime Network. <laughs> oh. Gosh. Barnum just, and Bailey Circus. Andy, Andy, Andy it's I'm okay. Glad you're listening. It's I'm okay, glad you're listening, Andy. Andy. It's okay. It's okay, okay. Another question. How does this not get totally lodged in her inner pipe works where it will never come out? Well, <laughs> uh, funny you say that because uh, it. Did get lodged one time. <laughs> but she Three did not years learn ago, lesson. she woke up in the middle of the night in terrible agony. I bet she did. She was rushed to the hospital where doctors found a serious blockage in her lower intestine. Really? Oh, my goodness. After six days with a tube down her throat trying to clear the impasse, oh my gosh. doctors were preparing for major surgery. Thankfully, enhanced doses of laxatives... Oh. We're able to pass the stubborn ball of cushion through. You know, Janelle, it's it's funny that you mentioned TLC because if you scroll all the way down on this page, okay, she was on my strange addiction. Yeah, hold on, that's the show. that's not the worst part of the the blockage. The blockage that was inside of her Tell was us. the size of a grapefruit. Oh, oh my come God. on, and made of pure sofa. <laughs> <laughs> the size of a grapefruit. Uh, uh, <laughs> that why? Would you, how would that just come out with a laxative? Required surgery. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. So, how was your day? I passed a grapefruit-sized pouch. <laughs> Ball of foam. What? Well, hey, don't you think that grapefruits deserve comfort as well? She clearly ate a grapefruit pouch. And she uh, paid the price, apparently. Oh, my goodness. (laughs) So, so but that's not all she does. Now... I don't want to know. It's too much. (laughs) Now when she eats eats the cushions, she has to add a little bit of, you know, seasoning, right? Of course. So, So this is what she does. She'll unzipper the cushion... She'll tear off a piece about the size of a half a pencil. Then she'll take it outside and rub it in dirt. No, no, no. Because the dirt makes it crunchier. (laughs) (laughs) She it and swallows it. (laughs) What I was expecting, but I was hoping a little bit more acceptable, like cinnamon or something that would make a little bit of sense. (laughs) Lady, you have something mentally wrong with you. It's so bad. It's okay. Okay. She's. I. I, I just had. Now, to, what? Uh, how, how does this make you feel? I want to tell you the thing that just flashed through my mind. And have you ever seen the episode on Seinfeld where they have the couch episode and Jerry tries to get rid of his couch? Does anybody remember why? Because there was a pee stain on it. Yes, the pee why? stain. Yes, Those I remember things that. penetrate into the foam. What if she yes. encounters something it's like really that? What do you do? See, okay. yeah. oh, Janelle, 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 Janelle. You're missing Does something. She spit it out? Does she go ahead and eat it? No, is no, that no, no, you're it? missing it. What do you think? Urine is sterile. Oh my gosh. Don't even <laughs> Thank go. you, Bear Grylls. No. That's just wrong. The amount of you people know. that have probably farted on that couch cushion. <laughs> <laughs> well, being in a like, thrift store, who would know? Yeah, like, e- really like, you remember the chair that I had through college, right? Yes. I'm, I'm sure couches are similar. Oh my gosh. There were a lot of... Okay, stop. 
Stop. So, well, here, Stop. here, Janelle, I'm going to give you a little I'm hope at the end of this. I'm sat in that chair. Uh, hope. Here's your hope at the end of the tunnel. Okay. I'm never going to be tempted by a, a couch cushion. She is. Um, she has a fiance who's helping her monitor how much she eats. He's making sure I'm cutting down little by little. That's what she said. Oh my said. gosh! <laughs> you kiss that. She also has moved into her sister's home recently, <laughs> where she had to leave her couches behind. Oh, oh good. poor lady. Now she stockpiled <laughs> enough cushion to tide her over for a few weeks, but oh my goodness! What is going guys. to happen when the supply oh runs out? Oh really? my gosh! Yes. We're not quite sure, but. There may be uh, hope. Maybe just not having that temptation oh, around. Ew. Wake up in the morning. Honey, I can't get <laughs> you. You have couch breath. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Uh, you know, we're laughing about this, but it is really a sign of some serious illness inside her really head. Is. I don't get it. It really is. Somebody and if God wanted us to foam, he would have put it in the Garden of Eden. That I know. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? There you go. I'm sure. Wait a minute. I'm, sure. I'm pretty sure Twinkies weren't in the Garden of Eden, and that's totally on the approved list of things to eat. It's well, true. that's a man made thing. Although, if it's you different. look at a Twinkie, it looks a lot like. Foam. No, no, no. Couch cushion. <laughs> that's true. It is. And there we've ruined all of Twinkies for the rest of forever. Maybe that's also- what. Twinkies. Maybe that's what she could wean herself off of, is yes. to get Twinkies that, or like... Or sponge cake. Yeah, yes. exactly, sponge cake. Yeah, or angel food cake. Adele has eaten over 200 pounds of couch cushion in her lifetime. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> She's eaten seven couches and two chairs. No. What? That's not, that's lady, that's not something you put on your resume. That's not okay. It's Yeah, it's not okay. I will have to say, I think I have to draw the line. I mean, she's taking comfort food to a whole new level. Oh, my God. Oh, she's just oh man. <laughs> she totally just, like, took a whole bunch of little pieces, like two big handfuls, and just stuffed them in her purse. Uh, uh. <sighs> Storing them up like a chipmunk no, for later. I can't explain how much I'm dry heaving. This is, this, what, I can't. What are you snacking on much. today? I've got granola. I've got oh. couch. Uh, <laughs> this is so bad. Oh, God. You know, I just don't get it. I am grossing myself out the more I think about this. I can't. I can't. I, ugh, don't watch the video because, like, I was okay <laughs> until I watched the video. <laughs> This is why I don't like. I'm never gonna eat sponge cake ever again. But I already didn't like Twinkies. Like all of this, it's just it's just too much. It's it's over the top. I can't handle. Maybe it. We, maybe I we can't. should start a new uh, food business. We'll, we'll use couch foam and oh fill gosh. it with liquid couch foam, and we'll call them couchies. I don't know if I can even ever sit on a couch again. This is really really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Are you afraid you'll be tempted to take a bite? <laughs> no, that's all I'll be thinking about is that lady stuffing her face with dirt-covered couch cushions. Lady, come on, it's so mm. bad. All right, it's official. Uh, Since Janelle, Jen, and I all work at the same place, coming up on Monday when we have a staff meeting, I'm no. going to place a small piece of uh, of angel food cake in the couch, and sometime during the meeting, I'm just going to pull it out and start eating it. And I'm going to leave throwing up. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's fantastic. Yes. Yes. If you have a strange uh, addiction, uh, there is uh, a place to... Uh, oh. uh, really, what you probably should just do is email Jen directly. I can't uh, even because I can't. she wants to start a uh, strange uh, addiction ministry, I think. I and, a support group, if yes, you will. Right, yes. Along with the single men ministry she's working on. Oh my God. Uh, yes, that's true. Uh, so maybe you should just direct... But we can forward uh, the email to her. Uh, just send a note to d- d-nugget, uh, dnugget.com or nuggethatemail at gmail.com. Uh, breathe, Jen, breathe. Or I, Jen at I, gmail.co.uk. <laughs> 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 so gross. <laughs>